form a na name and using the method c string so now uh, i have a copy of uh, the name name in in p2 string so i'm going to just see how p p2 string equals p2 string so far so good and by the way a character pointer can hold a string please enter your name ban banjo jack p2 string equals banjo jack so we just made a copy in p2 string so the pointer now contains a copy of the string so that's good now now what do we do now what we do is p it equals um, string token method string token splits up a string into tokens and we're gonna say what well, what string do we want p2 string and uh, we want this this is going to be our break specifier so anytime the user enters in a space we um, make a, we we kind of get a new word from them so a uh, while um, p it is not equal to null so while we still have input we're gonna use uh, see out p it and L so here's gonna be our main function and then P it equals string token method and now I'm gonna say null and once again uh, so null specifies that we want to go back uh, to the last place and keep searching until we find another another one of these so basically this string is gonna p iterator is gonna break up our string and uh what and it will search until the end of the string and then uh, in the inside the while loop it will just keep going to its last place and then searching for space again and stuff like that so it should produce the same result as a last program which was kind of cheap but um So as you see, uh, this is what the string token method did, and um, but as you see, we have some more flexibility when we when we make this program as compared to the other one. Uh, why? Because we actually have access to p iterator. Oops. Wow. I did, I forgot I could move stuff like this. So we actually you could you could say an array of p iterators or a vector. Uh, let's see we haven't defined vectors yet but let's say I wanted a vector a vector mm, of strings uh, that's that's gonna be called a uh, name and uh, that's it so now I'm gonna I can say uh, here, for example, uh, name pushback. It's an it's a function of a vector pushback, and inside here I'm going to put p it. And so now I can push back p it into this vector, and um, I could run a while loop, see out and l. And I could run a for loop inside here and i equals zero i is less than name size i plus plus and I could just say see out um, mm, let's see name i so something like this could uh, and then put an end l uh, and then put see out vector oops vector name so we'll get into vectors a bit more later this is just like a sneak preview of what's about to come so let's see 
Oh, I have to include the vector library. Otherwise, it's a standard template library. So please enter your name. And here is our vector that contains exactly the same information as this thing because the pushback method actually a vector is like an array and I might as well go into it now but ooh my bad again so a vector is like an array but the only difference between a vector and an array is that it um, that the vector does not require a set um, a set dimension so I just declared a new empty vector here called name and with the pushback um, with pushback I'm basically creating a new element in the vector and putting it the value of that element to p iterator uh, so now I can since I have this uh, my first word is gonna be under name one my second word is gonna be uh, sorry name zero my second word is gonna be name one etc 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 so uh, that's how I can actually reference them so if I want the first word the user entered I can say name one the second word name two uh, name zero name one name two name three etc so that's pretty cool and now you can work together with this vector of course you could declare an array and just set the values of the array but then you'll be wasting space as compared to a vector where you can actually use the pushback method which I absolutely love and now you could you well, when we get into vectors, you'll uh, I'll tell you about sorting vectors and uh, how to operate on vectors and stuff like that. And it's even better than arrays. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And uh, if you have any questions, once again, go to reconnetworks.com. And uh, thank you very much. And I hope to see you soon. Oh, one more thing before I leave. Uh, we can just say... Uh, here C out name size and L so we can actually get the amount of words in the vector so and here is you see uh, this 9 here that's the amount of words that we entered so if you ever wanted the amount of words that the user entered here's 9 so that's very cool and the array also has the size uh, function so keep out keep a look uh, an eye for that so thank you again sorry I had to end this sooner if you have any questions please go to reconnetworks.com or just leave a comment after this video and I'll be happy to answer them thank you and have a great day